A good and blessed morning to you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, the gospel of today, of yesterday, was a closing, a long discourse, an important discourse, which Jesus gave to his disciples. This discourse is known as the Sermon on the Mount. Now, after the Sermon on the Mount comes the ten wonders or the ten miracles that Jesus performed to point to the fact that he is the Messiah, to point to the fact that he is the Son of God, the expected one. In the first one, we see in the Gospel of today, a leper coming to him and kneeling and begging him, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And looking at what Jesus did, during that time, there was no cure for leprosy. Those who were infected with leprosy, they were forced to leave their families, to leave the community, to go in the outskirts of the community, to live there as they were awaiting their death. I think this we will understand these days as maybe being quarantined, being isolated. Because if they remained at home, they will infect everyone. So they had to be sacrificed. And as they will be walking on the road, they will be carrying a bell, ringing that bell and shouting unclean, unclean, so that if there is anyone coming or on that road, then they will see what to do, run away. And Jesus comes face to face with this threat, someone who is suffering from leprosy. And this man is begging, if you will, you can make me clean. It was not allowed to touch a person who is suffering with leprosy with the fear that the person who touches the infected person will be infected themselves. But also with the fear that when you touch the infected person, you become unclean yourself. And what does Jesus do faced with a suffering human being who is begging for help and knowing that actually he can help that human being? We hear that he stretches his hand and he touches him. And he says, I will be clean. Jesus breaks the law. Jesus is known in the Gospels for breaking the law. Is Jesus against the law? You realize that not a long time ago we read when Jesus himself said, I have not come to abolish the law, but I have come to fulfill it. In this very gospel, what we realize, he has really come to fulfill the law. Yes, he seems to be breaking the law by touching the person who is suffering with leprosy. But what does he do after that? The law prescribed that if someone is healed, they should go and report to the priest and do the offering required. And that was the law. And after that, when Jesus has healed this man, he says, go, show yourself to the priest and do as Moses prescribed. Which is following the law. So actually he was not against the law, but he was against those things that degraded human beings. Those things that it did not serve to uphold the dignity of a human being. And this man is healed. You can imagine him going his way, going back home, celebrating, rejoicing, and giving thanks to God. What does this mean for me and you? The Jesus who met the leper, the Jesus who was called by the leper, is still the same Jesus we experience in our lives. Is still the same Jesus we pray to today. Is still the same Jesus we receive every day. The same Jesus who is willing to journey with us 
a Jesus who listens, a Jesus who is moved when we are suffering. Maybe. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the time when we look into our lives and say, what is my leprosy? What is it which separates me from my family? What is it which separates me from the community? What is it which has put upon me the death sentence? That there is no hope anymore for me. I think this is the time that we should bring those situations to Jesus. Because he is willing. The man asks him, if you will, make me clean. And he says, I will. Yes, I will. And he does make him clean. And dear brothers and sisters, let us approach him with faith. Let us approach him with trust. Let us approach him with humility, knowing that we need his help, knowing that we cannot help ourselves. And ask him, Lord, if you will, this is my situation. Lord, if you will, this is my leprosy. Lord, if you will, I'm begging you. I'm coming asking before you. And as I've said, indeed he wills. And indeed he is willing to do something for us today. He is willing to do something about your situation today. So let us pray that we may be given that grace, the grace to be able to see what is my leprosy, the grace to be able to see that I cannot help myself, the grace to be able to realize that I need Jesus. And I don't have to go far away. He is here. He is waiting. I only just need to call upon him and he will respond. May your prayers be granted. May the leprosy which you are carrying, which you are afraid of, which makes you suffer, may it be healed by Jesus today. Because Jesus is willing and he has the power to do that. Amen.